I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. With Thor 2 opening this week, I'm giving you what you asked for. Here's Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. The hammerhead is made out of 10 separate pieces of 4130 chromoly steel. It's a very tough, durable type of steel. The hammer is going to be hollow. It's still going to weigh over 20 pounds. It's a lot of weight to swing around. If it was solid, it would weigh 200 pounds. I did a paper template and bent the edges of the template just to show what it would look like. It's going to be 11 inches long, 5 inches high, 4 inches wide. It's 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. I'm doing the four sides, 5 inches by 11 and 4 inches by 11 on the top and bottom. Those will be bent on the anvil in the forge. First I had a leash, a score a line about an inch and a quarter in for where the bevels come in on the hammerhead. So when I heated up the metal to bend it on the anvil through the big vise, I could get the angle right on there. have a hole coming through the middle of it that'll hold the hammer handle. I am measuring to get the center hole so that our steel pole can go through the handle, attaching the pommel through the hammer, which is hollow, and cinch into a plate on top of the hammer and pull the whole thing together. So we need to not only make sure those holes are centered, but make sure those holes line up with one another. So if they don't, the ice giants are gonna win. I took the edge bevels and just shaped those to fit the spaces that were there. And then TIG welded the whole thing together. Cleaned up the TIG weld faces. I've also taken an ingot of bronze and forged out the pommel for the handle. That has a one inch board insert into it. We're going to be drilling a 3 8 16 threaded hole into the pommel. Alicia's also taking some Celtic knotwork designs from the movie and pierced that out of 50 thousandths or 18 gauge brass that will silver solder onto the pommel. We took a look at the screen capture showing the details in Thor's hammer from the movie and it had this detailed Celtic knotwork or Viking interlace on the faces of it. We drew a pattern on vellum and then made a stencil for electrochemical etching. The stencil is a polymer resin silk screen that we developed with a UV light source. It's using a electrolyte which is a glorified salt water and electricity with a carbon electrode with a cotton wick. So we wet the cotton wick with carbon electrode going through it. We have a ground clamp attached somewhere onto the piece so we have a full circuit going through there. And as it sparks, as it works on there through the stencil, we etch into it and it comes out with a beautiful deep etching. I have a piece of steel pipe that sockets into the bronze pommel. The bronze pommel has a 3 8 16 threaded hole in it. And there's a piece of 3 8 16 all thread a long rod that goes from the pommel up through the hammerhead to the top cap. And I had Chris machine on the lathe a disc for the top that locks everything together. I'm going to cut out chevron shapes in thin-walled uh, aluminum tubing that will stagger down over the one-inch steel tube. Those will be covered with leather and then there'll be nickel silver spacings between there. And then we nickel plated the whole thing and put it together and uh, came up pretty fun. 
Molnir, Thor's hammer was just a great piece. I think it's a little bigger than the one in the movie. It's probably 12 to 20 pounds. I think what we're gonna do, since it is a hollow construction, we're gonna fill it up with lead shot, so it'll weigh about 250 pounds. So people will watch it in the show and see me picking it up, swinging it around fairly easily. And if and when they come into my showroom in uh, Burbank and they wanna try and pick it up, it's gonna be like uh, Excalibur. They won't be able to pick it up off the ground, it'll be too heavy. If you like what you see here, smash that subscribe button for us and we'll make sure you never miss a future episode. You can see Wolverine's claws and Captain America's shield in the armory below. Which hero weapons we build next? Tell me in the comments below.